let's go full strider. This, this is, oh, look at this. I'm actually shaking after that. I think I just need a minute. I can confirm this is not an Audi. This is the Lamborghini Urus. This is a four litre V8 twin turbo. 642 horsepower, 0 to 62 time, just 3.6 seconds, top speed 190 miles an hour. That makes it the fastest SUV, sorry, super SUV in the world. 3.6 seconds, how is that possible? Look at the size of the thing. All right, so something a little bit different for you today, guys. We're gonna be doing a point of view drive of this Lamborghini Urus. Um, and by the way, just look at this environment I'm in. It's, um, I've woken up incredibly early uh, to, share, to share this experience with you on some, some of the best roads in the UK. Um, and it's, it's quite incredible just being here, to be honest, um, and sharing this with you. So I, I really hope you enjoy this video. If you've not already, I have to just say this and get this out of the way and I won't say it again, I promise. If you haven't already, please make sure you like and subscribe. It really helps the channel and um, it pushes this out to more people so uh, more people can see and enjoy this video as well. So, I'm just gonna say it. I wasn't a fan of this car when I first saw it. I thought it was quite ugly um, and I didn't like the fact that Lamborghini were going down the SUV route it just it kind of just took away that special thing that Lamborghini or any supercar brand has when they just make supercars I love the fact that Lamborghini didn't shy away from making it look like a supercar they could have they could have taken the easy route out here and gone for that standard SUV look uh, and try to attract more of a mass market but they've kept it very niche. It looks like a supercar. It's got those really aggressive lines everywhere you look. You can see those, those hips have been pinched in, the wheel arches are flared, and you've got the typical Lamborghini lines in the bonnet. It looks very Aventador. You can see the Huracan in it. You can see the Aventador in it. So now we're gonna look at the interior. I'm just gonna take you through some of the, uh, the features on the dash and uh, the center console and this whole driving experience. You can see as I sit in, you're welcome with the Urus logo. So at the moment, I just turn the ignition on. The seat comes alive, it pushes me towards the wheel, kind of invites me to drive the car. As always with Lambo, you've got this flip switch, which makes it very theatrical, turning the engine on and it comes to life. At the moment, it's in Strada. I'll just flick it down to Corsa. Just opens those valves up. You hear the revs pick up slightly. I'll just give it a few blips for you so you can hear that exhaust system. Sounds great, listen to this. Okay, so just quickly, just looking um, at the dashboard. Um, I hate to say this, but if you're familiar with Audi, then you will know how to navigate these systems very well. Uh, you just change the view here. Um, you've got the radio station. You can change it so you have your sat nav over on the left. And then by pressing view, you get various information coming up, tire temperatures and pressures, uh, power and torque. Uh, power and torque again, you get to see, if I just rev that, you can see the power. And then if you're doing some off-roading as well, you get to see the angle of the car. And again, you see a bit, uh, an overview of the car and any components that may have some issues, the time, uh, MPG, you can see I've done, no surprise, 14 miles per gallon. 
uh, in this. I've had it up to about 22, 23 on the motorway. Just depends how you're driving it, but it does go through fuel very fast, regardless of how you're driving it. And then a few other KPIs. Then just looking at the infotainment system here, I just love this touch screen. It's very, very responsive. You can see I'm in the middle of nowhere. Uh, one thing I really do love, and I know this is on other cars as well, but if you just put it into reverse, it brings up the rear uh, reversing camera and, and a bird's eye view of the car. But I love this, if you press 3D, you get a 3D, uh, you can rotate around the car and see exactly where you are. It's brilliant, I love it. You can see, I'm just parked up in the lay-by here, up in the mountains. Really, really good. I don't really use that very often. I tend to look at this one here, the overview, um, especially when you're park doing bay parking and stuff like that. You can see if you're in the parking bay, but it's great. I really do like that, and I would definitely spec it with that. Again, you can see the carbon fiber pack uh, just brings carbon fiber through into the dashboard. You've got the yellow stitching throughout and on the steering wheel. And I've seen this steering wheel before. It's basically the Audi R8 steering wheel. Um, it would be nice to maybe have the Huracan steering wheel or the Aventador steering wheel on this. Um, I don't get too excited about this wheel. It's, it is a little bit bland. Um, but it's a nice wheel. It's just not very Lamborghini and very Audi in my opinion. Uh, down here you've got the various presets for your um, seats. So if you're sharing your Urus with your partner, you could have you as one and your partner as two. So as soon as you get in, you press it and it uh, remembers your seating position. And then in the center console, you can't ignore this. It's very much like a fighter, a fighter jet. Here you can just toggle through the various driving modes. You've got Strada, Sport, Corsa, Sabia, Terra and Neve. That's basically comfort, sport, track, uh, snow, mud and sand and then here like I showed you you can engage reverse and then ego over here is when you can where you can just custom uh, various components of the car such as the dry um, the wheel and the suspension just to tailor it just how you like it but it doesn't change the fact the steering is a little bit numb no matter what you do here I just not just don't feel very connected with the car uh, and another thing, I I just don't like the fact the valves only open when you have it in Sport or Corsa. You can't open the valves in Strada. Um, so you can't, basically, when you have it in Sport, the gearing's quite aggressive. Um, and that's the only way you can enjoy having the valves open. So you're just driving around with a very uh, jerky gear shift. It's a little bit annoying. Anyway enough of the interior of the car let's go for a drive i'm going to cut to the bottom of the mountain and you can join me as i drive up the mountain and uh, work through the various drive modes um, and i'll explain how they feel but yeah enjoy this because this is such a brilliant road and um, hopefully it comes across in video in this point of view video okay so i've taken you to the bottom of the the mountain um, and we're about to go on uh, one of the best drives uh, in the UK. Well, in my opinion, anyway. Got up at the crack of dawn this morning to get down to this location to, to share this experience with you and, and share the Urus. I had quite a few questions that have come through on, the so on my social media, wanting to know more about this car and what it's like to drive. And obviously, those trolls popping into the comments as well saying this is basically an Audi well I've driven quite a few Audis most of them There's no Audi drives like this trust me this this really is a Lamborghini experience currently driving in Strada mode which is comfort dare I say is it comfort yeah I would say this is actually a very pleasant ride in, in uh, Strada. The suspension's soft. Steering is, in my opinion, too light. There's not much feedback through this wheel and it stays like that through all the drive modes. Spoiler alert. 
they could have done a little bit more work with making this car feel a little bit more well connecting the driver with the car a little bit more I do feel a little bit disconnected look at this view by the way hopefully you can see that but um yeah just talking about the driving the steering the steering wheel is just a little bit too detached from the actual road in my opinion so we'll start heading up into the mountains shortly but yeah just talking about that driving the uh, the suspension is quite stiff and it is a shame that you can't open the valves in in sports mode in sorry in strada mode you have to put it into sport or into Corsa for the valves to open and to actually hear that engine note and if you spec this car with the sports exhaust package yeah it sounds great but the trade-off is that you have to drive in sport or strata to actually hear that exhaust note and then you're having to put yourself up through a bit more of an uncomfortable drive where the suspension stiffens up and the gear shifts are quite aggressive and they are very aggressive in this car like I said in the intro this is 642 horsepower it's a V8 but don't think that because the engine isn't that of its brothers the Huracan and the Aventador with a V10 and a V12 that this car doesn't push on because it really does okay so I don't know what you were doing on oh and obviously <laughs> you gotta be mindful of wildlife as well just had a sheep in the middle of the road there yeah I think this is a good time now to shift into sport So sport now, just hear it dropping down a gear, just lengthens those gear shifts. If I just wind down the window a little bit, you can hear the engine note now, the valve has opened up, or the valves on the quad exhaust have opened up, you can get a nice echo off these walls here, you can hear it, I'll shut up so you can hear it. Let's go full strider. So this is essentially track mode now. It sounds great. Uh, hopefully the camera can pick it up. the exhaust popping as he lift off it's burbles you see how fast it is as well speed limit here is 60 miles an hour it just gets there so quickly if I just drop it down a little bit give it a little, have a little blast and you'll see just how quickly this car accelerates you would not think this car is the size it is this is very much a Lamborghini jeez man what a 
an experience this is. What a car this is. A lot of people just say, well, you're driving an Audi. Well, you tell me an Audi that drives like this. It sounds like this. This is not a watered down Lamborghini. This is a full on Lamborghini experience. See how quickly you can easily just creep over 60 there. That's a lift off. It's scary fast. And the torque as well. Look at that view, guys. Oh. I'm so glad I'm filming this so I can record and share this share this experience. I've actually got goosebumps. Just gonna make sure I'm filming again. side of the cliff here and I don't like heights but it just gives you so much confidence what a fantastic car this is my advice to anyone that is hates on the Urus yeah, okay, the looks, Marmite. Some people don't like the look of it. I would say it grows on you. I wasn't a fan of the, just be careful with these sheep there. I wasn't a fan of this car when I first saw it. I actually thought it looked really, oh geez, man, this car. know if the camera's picking up but the gear shifts in Corsa are just so aggressive okay just be careful there's a sheep kicking around they <laughs> oh, just managed to get out of the the fields. I'm hoping the camera picks up on the theatre that this car has. That exhaust. Jeez, man. actually hard to string a sentence together. I find it hard enough in normal circumstances to talk. But when you're driving <laughs> on a road like this with a sheer drop you have to forgive me guys there's moments when there are no words. Just a little bit narrow through there. certainly woken me up this morning. Oh. Something a little bit different, point of view, video, sharing this car with you, sharing this experience with you this morning on one of the best roads I've driven on in the UK by quite some margin to be fair. Wow. As we 
we now start to come down. I'm gonna pull up here and we're gonna turn around and we're gonna head back and we're gonna do that again. <sighs> Guys, I'm actually shaking after that. <sighs> What's my heart rate? I think I just need a minute. That was some experience. I can confirm this is not an Audi. Well, I've somewhat recovered from that experience. Honestly, that was unbelievable. So I'm just gonna, we're gonna turn around and do that again. One thing as well that I love about this, and I know this technology exists in other cars, is, is the reversing technology. You can see if I press this button here, oh, that was the wrong button. It's uh, 3D. You can actually see, how cool is that? That never gets boring. You can see exactly where the car is. The only thing I would say is disappointing is that the car isn't the same colour, it's not yellow. Surely it's just a bit of, can't, it's not much work to just change the colour. It would be slightly better if it was the same colour as the car I'm driving. <sighs> Let's do this again. How cool is that guys? That's so cool. So we're back into uh, strada mode. I'm just gonna catch my breath a little bit and enjoy this view rather than speeding through because just look at that. Wow. So you can see in strada it's a lot smoother, accelerating, it's uh, the gear shifts so are very nice the gearbox is good it's just when you go into sport and into Corsa mode the, the gearbox becomes a lot more aggressive and it's just a shame that you can't open those valves in Strada guys this this is oh, Look at this. As we, we've got sheep in the road. These roads are just too good not to, I feel like getting out and taking a photo. Should we take a photo? There's a bit of a blind crest there. It's not a smart place to stop. It's, I tell you what, I know where we're gonna go. We're gonna stop and, uh, take some photos look at this this is such a privilege to be driving this car in this location wow right we've got a car behind us we're going to uh, flick it down into Corsa open the window so you can hear the engine note and I'm just not going to say anything for a couple of minutes and just let you enjoy this drive. I'm not saying much but I just want you to enjoy this you don't want me talking over the top of this
there we go. We're now at the bottom of the mountain. The sun's come out, more cars on the road. I definitely made the right call getting up early this morning at 5.30 to head down to this location. It's been an absolute pleasure driving this car. Thank you so much Lamborghini for loaning me this car and giving me the chance to create this video and share this experience with you. I hope you've enjoyed it. Please do, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. So many people that watch my videos haven't subscribed to my channel. It would mean so much to me if you did. Just hit that subscribe button and that like button and write in the comments your thoughts on the Urus. I'm really interested to hear what you thought of this video and this experience. Has it changed your opinion on the Urus? Thanks for watching guys and I'll see you in the next video.